man. Um, if you haven't figured out this accent, if you're a little bewildered, a little confused, I am from Boston. We don't travel well, I know this. The problem with being from Boston is that we're known for our anger management or lack of management issues. So you guys will use the phrase, bless your heart. I say that every day. We know what that means, by the way. <laughs> We're a little more direct. It's fuck you, kid. <laughs> that, that's what it translates to. Uh, no, not Selby. I'm just Boston General. But, you know, thanks for the Q&A. We see that usually for after. I know you're used to the hot girl factor, but I'm saying no. Thank you very much. But for those of you who are not familiar, with the people of Boston, per se, other than my brothers and sisters who do a terrible job drinking your, your city dry during the Patriots games. New Hampshire, Maine, Vermont, Rhode Island, and Connecticut all had a meeting and got together and came up with what we call their schoolhouse rock moment. They had a little conjunction junction thing yeah, where they took. Your <laughs> Not the punchline, but okay. Thanks for the support. It's like a training bra. Um, but they took the words Massachusetts and asshole, and that conjunction junction became masshole. So feel free to use that. But the problem is, for us, that's not a badge of honor. Like, we put it on t-shirts. We put it on mugs. In fact, we even put it on Mother's Day cards. Hey, Mom, happy Mother's Day. You're my favorite masshole. You're all kid. I don't know why we say kid for everything, but we really do. By the way, 40 years of marriage. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Murder, I just wanted to tell you that a murder sentence only carries 20 years. <laughs> you could have already gotten out of jail. Anyone else been to jail besides me? Yeah. Now there's a couple of us. Fuck you, kid. No, I work in a jail. So the hard part is when you're a comedian and you work in a jail, I have a audience that's legally obligated to be there. It's a court order. You're stuck with me. So imagine your first day of jail. You've never done time before and this face greets you. Hi. Thanks for choosing the county lockup. We know you had your options for your incarceration, but we appreciate you choosing us. Or, we would appreciate if you would keep your hands and feet inside the restraints until we enter the facility. <laughs> then they're always have, they have that one question like, well, what's for dinner? What are we having? When, when is it? So, oh, we've never had a jail meal before. Tonight we'll be serving cake and cock in a steamed styrofoam tray, and we're all out of cake. Really? You guys like cake that much? You're mad at me over the cake line, but the training probably was okay? <laughs> it's a very weird crowd. <sighs> but if you ever do go to jail, it's something that's gonna happen to you, and you're gonna have to come and get accustomed to this concept. You're gonna have a strip search, right? It's gonna happen, you're getting cake. With the lights on, ladies, that's kind of how it goes. But, gentlemen, when you go to jail, there's a thing that we all do when we get naked. It's the adjust. But we're gonna do a mouth check and see you do this, and then make you go, yeah, 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 yeah. ah. We just know you just touched your dick and now you know what it tastes like. No. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, that's my time now. Let's get out of here.